Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the resume of a data scientist. Now, this particular video is pretty much important for everyone who are actually planning to make a transition towards data analyst or data scientist. So I'll try to explain you by considering this particular resume, what are, are the important things and this will just be like a generic template for you. You can put more information by taking this uh, resume. I'll be providing the link in the description of this particular video. You can download this particular format and then you can make the necessary changes. But what I feel the format of this particular resume is pretty much amazing. And uh, the resume whose resume we are discussing, his name is Sunny Bhavan. And uh, Sunny is an employee of iNeuron. Uh, he was pretty much happy to share his resume so that I could have explained to you all. Right. So let's proceed. I'm just going to discuss what are the important things uh, in a resume that you should have and definitely this format you can actually follow. It looks as in an amazing format. What are the important information that you really need to put in your resume is also very, very important. Okay, so to begin with what we are going to do guys, you can see over here, we actually, first of all, we already have this particular name. You have this position over here. Uh, you know, with respect to data scientists or whatever role currently you are actually doing in your uh, in the organization. Okay. And uh, after this, you will be able to see in the left hand side, there is something called as profile. Now this profile will play a really important role. Okay. You really need to, it's, it's not like you have to actually write eight to nine lines in that specific profile, short and sweet, which will be able to provide most of the information with respect to this guy. So over here, Sunny has an amazing profile, uh, a description that is written over here. You can see data scientist and lecture with working experience in computer vision. Yes, he's been working in computer vision, nine year on natural language processing and embedded system. Hands on experience, leveraging machine learning, deep learning, transfer learning models to solve challenging business problem. Now over here in this particular profile, whatever information it is written, guys, it is very, very precise. It is having the most important keywords. So that basically means that whenever you are setting up a description, whether it is in a profile, whether it is in your project, you really have to use the key terms. Why I'm telling you guys, probably you will be searching for jobs in various portals like Nokri.com, LinkedIn, in various job portals, right? And those job portals also works in SEO, right? Whenever probably a recruiter is searching for any kind of profile, your profile should be looking on the top, right? It should be always coming on the top. And it is only possible, you know, when you are having this kind of keywords, right? Where, where you're specifically telling that you're pretty much well versed in the field of AI, right? So computer vision, natural language processing here you can see machine learning deep learning transfer learning models so many amazing words are there so definitely this will actually make your rank good with respect to your profile in any kind of job profiles and here you can see that just in five to six lines of code you know he's described his entire work experience so this was the first and the most important thing please make sure that you you keep this particular thing particular ready because profile is very important in any kind of resume that you see profile is very very much important the second information that you see on the left hand side uh, which you will be able to see over here is something called as online profile now this online profile can include github link so here you can see github link is there on the left hand side and then you have your linkedin url then you also have your youtube channel so sunny also has a youtube channel over here probably just to uh, because if you have all these things this will definitely attract the recruiter to check your profile at least once okay and probably i'll also make a different video to tell you that what is the better way to set up your github profile what all you have to write whenever you are uploading any kind of projects over there what should be the methodology or the pattern that you should basically write how a problem statement is what you are trying to solve what is the outcome all these things how in a specific project it needs to be written i'll just tell you about that too okay so over here you'll be able to see github.com with respect to this then you have this linkedin profile in this linkedin profile it is yours on linkedin profile in short a channel name and apart from this if you have written any kind of blogs right that will also count okay so blogs probably you have written any kind of blogs you have to provide this particular information trust me guys this is right now compulsory this all things are actually compulsory. You really need to have this thing right now. You need to have a GitHub profile, LinkedIn uh, channel, uh, probably YouTube channel is not that required, but, but definitely blogs are compulsory. Let me just write this in a smaller way, but blogs are definitely compulsory. I just like to add one more thing over here. 
yeah blogs are definitely compulsory guys you need to write blogs you need to pro uh, and also guys if you have participated in any open source contribution or competitions that will see how we can write this in the description but in the online po profile you really need to provide this particular information right so pretty much simple you have actually discussed about this now first is a the profile then you have this online profile then you go with this okay here in the second step that you in sorry in the third step that you will be seeing you here you have skills and always remember guys skills with respect to the skills always make sure that whatever things are going in the market currently right and if you know that probably write those kind of skills properly okay so over here if i see sunny resume you can see python scripting and automation web scrapping machine learning deep learning computer vision natural language processing you know hardware like raspberry pi 3 arduino os he has worked in ubuntu and windows 10 uh with respect to the anaconda navigator because this is the most popular framework you may be thinking why why you are writing anaconda navigator that is pretty much generic in most of the profile you will not find all this particular information guys but trust me this will be very very helpful when you are actually working on your search engine sorry search engine of the job profiles right you'll be able to see all this particular information then you have ml flow see even he has written tools uh, like he knows google collab he has worked in google collabs and all vs code sensor interfacing robotics robotics operating system right now recently i think you have seen the playlist with respect to ml flow he has done the live session in my channel itself so all this important information so trust me guys if I consider any person who has not written all the skills probably and this many skills then this skills includes everything probably in machine learning deep learning whatever things we have done yes some people don't know everything uh, probably some people may not know hardware it's okay but at least you should be writing uh, if this hardware is not there you can remove it not a problem but other thing I think everybody should be knowing and everything is available in my playlist also guys. so with respect to this at least you need to be good at this some more things that you could have written is that uh, with respect to deployment deployment is also very very important over here right deployment with respect to some clouds cloud part was missed right so cloud also you can write like azure aws right in azure specifically you have worked with something that all deployment things can be written over here right so all these things could be written and again ml flow when we are including it also include ml ops like ci cd pipelines with respect to a data science project so Yes, if you know all these things, try to write out all the skills. If you don't know, probably you can just keep it, whatever things you know. I, I think many of them knows Python scripting and uh, automation, web scrapping, machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing. Then you may be knowing Anaconda Navigator, probably you have used VS Code, Google Collab, MLflow, if not, uh, you have not it used, it's okay. Then you can go with deployment, okay? So deployment in different different clouds so these are the most important information and considering this you really need to keep yourself pretty much intact with respect to the skills because tomorrow if a recruiter is searching for any kind of job you know so suppose over there they go and write natural language processing with uh, with python scripting with they'll try to use some keywords you know so your resume will be able to come in the top and again remember guys resume is the thing you learn how much you want <clears throat> if you don't have a good resume you will never be getting a call okay now let's go to the uh, right hand side here you are your personal hobbies and all this i'm not that interested in uh, but over here with respect to your current project okay so i have all this information now it's time that you have to tell what kind of projects you are actually doing okay so the current project in this particular case uh, sunny in i neuron is working in one project which is called as intelligent radiologist assistant so here he is provided again it should be very precise very simple you know where uh, you should be providing the information like from what date your project has actually started and probably a information or description a precise description regarding that particular project okay then uh, the career summary which shows that what all things he has done till now so here you have your job responsibilities what I suggest guys job responsibilities try to make it till five to six points and <clears throat> always the job responsibilities will be changing based on years of experience. Suppose if you are a fresher three to four points will be more than sufficient focus more on including the life cycle of a data science project probably you have worked in the EDA part feature engineering part model creation part hyper tuning part you know deployment part and all right and then 
probably managing research projects and all he has basically written content creation and all he is basically written you can again put more information in this suppose if a person is more than five plus years of experience he really needed to put more information with respect to job responsibilities the job responsibilities will be precise with respect to the kind of experience that he is actually having you know some more Suppose he is five plus years, it should be somewhat better than a fresher. If he is ten plus years, it should be more better than five plus years, where he is probably handling a team, architecting a project, leading a project, coming up with new amazing ideas, solving a problem, you know, uh, automating some of the things, reducing the cost. Okay, and always remember, whenever you are trying to, uh, uh, suppose if you have finished a project, you can also put a extra point like goal, you know. the the goal was actually to automate this thing and because of that you reduced this much cost to the company so this kind of statement when you are putting in the project it will definitely count it will it will directly uh, you know impress the recruiter because of the information that you are actually providing which is pretty much amazing again okay so please make sure that you do all those kind of activities with respect to this uh in case of job responsibilities always focus on providing the life cycle uh, on providing the challenges uh, and many things as such you know based on the challenges you have to provide okay we did this we did that probably have worked in the deployment you have to write all those things okay and remaining all let's your technical education and previous projects all the information of the projects you can actually write and this is the uh, amazing one again again i'll be giving you this entire uh, word doc this is very much amazing online lectures online workshops uh, kaggle competition hackathon you can provide all this particular information over here with the necessary proof or link that will also get counted okay trust me in this that will also get counted over here guys uh, when you are providing all this particular information now understand one thing this is a generic template as i told now with respect to the freshers let's understand if i take an example of a fresher what should a fresher include okay what should a fresher include if the fresher is already having an internship or he has done the internship in his college so this all information will definitely present but here almost like in the profile probably you can write looking for internship where i have working experience probably with computer vision nlp embedded systems or uh, if you have already done an internship you can write 6 plus 6 uh, months year 6 uh, months experience internship uh, from this company and this 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 i have you have done this kind of work this should your github profile linkedin probably your blogging for freshers it is very much necessary that you need to have blogs uh, skills and all um in skills you really need to put up all the information i would suggest add one more uh, tab over here called as tools uh, you can include this hardware and all uh, Ag uh, anaconda and all uh, google collab vs code in that specific part that is your tools itself right so you can put that okay and uh, uh, regarding your current project whatever project you have done in your college you can put that particular information again you have to explain them pretty much amazingly try to explain them see for a fresher you may have not done many projects now sunny is an experienced guy so he has many projects so he has written short short description with respect to any project as a fresher whatever college project you have try to provide at least some big description over here uh, considering the life cycle of the data science project if you have actually done but always focus on end to end project one more thing guys in this skills you definitely have to put cloud information also okay just to show them that it is not like a fresher will directly get a job uh, where they'll tell you to deploy it because deploying uh, ml model is also a very critical task but at least you can be a part of that specific team okay then about your resume about your sorry about your uh, projects you can write down over here uh, with respect to this and uh, many people will ask as a fresher what we should write okay in the career summary you don't write anything you do you you do write like uh, you can write in the career summary that you were a kaggle competitor probably you have participated in this hackathon probably you have won this particular prize you have won this particular competition um, you know you have done this particular internship all those information you can write and with respect to the job responsibility whatever things you have actually done in the internship always remember consider the most keywords you know which uh, probably which will probably actually make the seo select your resume okay you should actually focus on that right so i hope you like this particular video again for people for more than 5 plus years 10 plus years all the thing that will be changing is the skills tools 
and the number of projects and the job and role responsibilities that's it okay so in short you can take up this particular resume as an example and definitely i'll share this uh the link will be given in the description uh you can check it out and you can definitely have a look onto this right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one doll bye bye